Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, and my life descended into chaos. What have I done? I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here.
this neighborhood before the police get here. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm Wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Dog's dining. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? 
Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston, a regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. She's really something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. What do you say we call it a night? Come back at this thing tomorrow when our heads are clear. We're not finished, Tyler. We've still got some important stuff to see before we can go home. My partner's gonna take your statement soon, ma'am. It shouldn't take too long. Thanks. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and, and left a nice tip. 
What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh, my God. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him, and then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? Did he seem worried or stressed out? No. He was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find a bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good night. His, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. 